Hello beautiful souls and welcome to Karuna Yoga. My name is Veronica and today I have a very gentle practice for you to take care of your lower back. So many people I meet have lower back pain because we are collapsing into our posture or we just hold tension there or maybe it's a cold day outside and your lower back just says please take care of me. <laughs> so today we have a gentle class, not too long either, to take care of your lower back. So if this is something that you wish to do then jump on your mat and let's get this video started. So we are going to start in child's pose, balasana. So bring your knees together, your feet together and sit back on your heels. Now if this is painful for you, then you can grab onto a block or onto a pillow and put it behind your seat like so. I think a pillow would be more comfortable because a block can be quite um, sharp, the edges can be quite sharp. You just elevate your sit bones so you release any tension in the uh, quads. Um, okay, <laughs> and from here just melt your chest forward. So we are not coming with a straight back, we actually want to round the back and just release the lower back. And you can put your palms on the back um, of your hips and start massaging it up and down just to gently warm up the area and just send some healing energy towards your lower back releasing the muscles you can even make a fist and just use your fists to gently massage the muscles around your spine there and around the hips and the coccyx. Sometimes we just need to take care of ourselves and give ourselves a little massage. <laughs> All right, and then stop with the movement and just allow the arms to come onto the floor next to your legs. Your palms are facing up and just release and melt into this pose. Okay, and we will pair some movement with the breath. So on your next inhalation, Start rounding the back and vertebrae by vertebrae come up and then lift the spine and when you exhale just round the back, suck the lower belly in and bring the crown of the head back towards the floor. Inhale, come all the way up, exhale. Bring your head down. Inhale. Coming up. Exhale. Back down. And just twice more. Inhale. Up. Exhale. Coming back down. And with your last inhalation, come all the way up into your Vajrasana. From here, grab onto your block or your pillow, whichever is available for you. Just cross the shins and then sit back into uh, just a seated position, really. We will start um, lifting our hips towards the ceiling. So get the block behind the coccyx and you can shift your body back and forth until you find a comfortable position. So your whole, the hips and the whole area should be um, supported by the block or the pillow. And just straighten the legs 
allow the shoulders to melt back onto the floor and if you feel that your back is rounding as I said before you may want to put a pillow underneath your uh, head but just allow here the psoas muscle to release it's a deep hip flexor and very often because it comes all the way from the back of the spine, the lower spine, down into our thighs. Um, the psoas muscle, the, the tension in the psoas muscle can cause us back pain. So what I like to do here as well is just use my palms. You can even warm them up by, um, you know, uh, I don't know how you call this action, <laughs> um, by bringing them together and just creating some heat. And then you can start working on top of the sauce and of course because it's a deep muscle um, you're not really touching it but sometimes you can feel if you go uh, in the back of your hips and my physiotherapist did this before because I had such tight psoas muscle and hip flexor that I had hip pain in the front a year ago more than a year ago now um, but sometimes they are popping out, they're so tense. So just use the hand to massage that area and lengthen it. And then just relax in this pose a little bit. Guide your breath all the way down to the pelvic floor. And sigh through the mouth if that feels good. Just take two more breaths here. And then bring your feet closer to the sit bones. Oops, the mat is coming with my leg. And then just move the block out from behind the back and place it on the side. Bring your knees into the chest, keep your knees together and just start circling the knees one way. Again, massaging the lower back, so go gentle with these movements. And then bring the knees the other way. Okay, then come back into semi-supine position. And from here, when you inhale, press the lower back into the floor and then raise the arms, to arms, the legs towards the ceiling. Now, your knees may be bent, that's completely fine, but make sure that your lower back is in contact with the floor. So you may not have the length in the hamstrings, but we are not focusing that on the hamstrings at the moment, so it doesn't matter. What we will do is start drawing circles with the feet, but making sure that our lower back stays in contact with the floor. So for that, you need to engage your core. You need to really set the lower belly in, and then use your lower back as an anchor point for these circles, and make circles around the hips if you're projecting your hips on the ceiling, move the legs around it and then reverse those circles, keep pressing the lower back into the floor it's a great great massage for the back And from here, bend the knees, come back into semi-supine, bring your arms into a cactus shape, just opening up the chest, allowing the shoulders to melt 
to the floor. Inhale in the center and when you exhale, bring your knees to the right and your gaze to the left. Inhale in the center, knees to the left, gaze to the right. And then continuing with the same movement, follow the pace of the breath and just move your knees from side to side. These gentle rotations will help you releasing the core. And again, just moving the back. In a gentle way. Okay, then stop in the center. Hug your knees into the chest. And you may want to roll all the way out to the right side and push yourself up. Or crossing the shins, you can rock up if that is accessible for you. Now cross the shins and come into your tabletop position. So the knees are hip distance apart. And your hands are directly underneath your shoulders. Suck the lower belly in, so don't allow your lower back to collapse like so. Engaging the core, we will do some cat and cow movements. When we inhale, keep the core on, lifting the tailbone and the crown of the head towards the ceiling. And when we exhale, curl everything under. You need to learn how to lengthen the spine and thrust the chest forward. And not bending the lower back and not collapsing in the lower back. So for that, again, engage the core. Do two more rounds in your own pace. And then arrive back into the tabletop position with your next exhalation. And from here, come all the way onto your tummy. Bring the feet together and squeeze the inner thighs together. Bring your elbows underneath your shoulders. With your next inhalation, press the pelvis into the floor and then opening up the chest with the exhalation, rounding the shoulders back. And then I want you to press into your forearms, and into your palms and start moving your elbows back. Now, I found this movement is excellent to bring the back bend into the right way. It really helps me lifting and lengthening the top of the spine, but keeping that pelvis and the hips in contact with the floor. So the movement should not feel um, like it's crunching the lower back and the back of the spine, but it should come in the middle section where my top kind of meets my funky pants. And again, I'm keeping the core engaged. I'm thinking to lift the chest. And then exhale, release everything. Bring one hand on top of the other. And just rock your hips from side to side. Excellent. From here, come all the way back. 
into tabletop. Bring your knees separate, your heels together, and sit back into your swan pose. Try to melt the chest towards the floor, straightening the arms along the mat, out in front of each other, in front of you, in front of each other, in front of you, above the head. If your chest ca cannot come all the way down to the floor, you can rest your forehead on the floor. Try to press your sit bones into the heels and really stretching away with the arms, but pull the shoulders back down. So you're lengthening your spine, creating space. Okay, from here come all the way up, close up the knees and come onto your back. We will do a gentle counter stretch. My favorite, favorite pose. If you know me, you know this. Bring your knees in towards your armpits, grab onto your feet um, on the outside edges and just start moving the knees, one side, the other side, and just rock like a little boat. Anything that helps you massage that area and just lengthening it is good. Okay, and then close up the knees, hug them into the chest once more, bring your chin to your knees, so really engage the core here, and feel that you're pulling out in the lower back, creating space, and then exhale, come all the way into your back, into Shavasana. So your feet are hip, mat distance apart. I always say hip first, it's like an imprint in my brain. And your palms are facing towards the ceiling. And just allow yourself to relax here for a moment. If you want to spend more time here, just pause the video. But if you've had enough rest, then just start moving your fingers and your toes first. And then raise the arms above the head, point your toes away. Just do a full body stretch like you just woken up in the morning. Stretch everything out, create space in the spine. And then hug the knees into the chest. Squeeze them in one last time. And then roll all the way into your right. And come up into a seated position of your choice. Today's practice was super quick, but I hope that you feel better in your back now. Um, keep on giving it some love. Balasana, child's pose, is great to release any tension. So anything that massages you there, being on your back, hugging the knees in, or just resting in Balasana for a few minutes a day before you go to bed should aid your pain a little bit but most importantly um, make sure that you're checking out my alignment videos uh, from the beginning so you can see what our posture should look like and hopefully once your posture improves throughout the day the pain will fade away and you will find comfort in your body 
Okay, thank you so much for joining me today with your practice. Don't forget to breathe, balance and blossom. Drink plenty of water, eat well, sleep well. And as you know, these videos are always for free. But if you want to give me some support on Patreon, then go over to my Patreon page and show me some support there. Thank you so much for spending your time with me. I shall see you soon in the next video. Om Shanti Namaste.